popping up now. All right, so let's proceed to adding textures to this model. Now, um, what we want to do is we want to go in and add a new UV set. So let's go in and wait, let me delete history. Edit, delete all my type history. What is this? I appreciate something really wrong with this. Edit, delete, unuse notes. Should work. Okay. All right. Anyways, let's create a new UV set. So let's open up UV texture editor. Select this. Then let's go to create UVs. Create copy UVs to UV set. And let's create a new one. Let's call it map two. Hit apply. All right, so what this does is um, it creates a new UV set. Um, UV sets are um, different UVs, sets of UVs. Um, this means I can apply a new projection. So for example, I'll create, create a projection planar mapping, then Z axis, hit apply. So now I changed my UVs for this UV set, but it will not affect Wait, let me toggle object mode. It will not affect the UVs in map 1. So this is useful for when you want to apply a texture on top of a model, but uh, you want to apply it in a certain projection or in a certain area, and you just want to project this area, you can do that with your UV sets. And yeah. So for this, we're going to project a face on top of it. So I'm going to apply a new shader. So file, material, favorite material, a Lambert. Let's go to color. And let's throw in the file. So the file I'm working with is on the desktop. Um, nope, it's not that one. Okay. Not that one either. Huh. Where are you? Oh, there you are. This one. So I'll open this up. So now as you can see, what's happening is it's using map 1. So if we go to our edit UVs, texture editor. To check which map it's using, just select your geo and go to UV sets. Select map one. As you can see, it's select. It's using map one. So we want to map this to the new map. So let's go to relationship editors, UV linking, texture centric. Let that load up. Here. So all we have to do is hook up file A to our new map two, and now it is projected onto map two. So now it's just a matter of taking these UVs, scaling them down and matching them to the map on the side. Okay, slowly, easy. And there. So I match the eyes first. Let me take all these UVs so we can go in and sculpt them. Okay, so I'm going to use the UV smudge tool, but before that, let me scale this down a bit more. Okay, I'm going to use the UV smudge tool. I'm just going to smudge this, these guys in. And I'll keep an eye out here and check if the eyeballs are still popping out. And just move that in. Really just get that texture working. We're going to do two projections, one in the front and one in the side. 
you guys might want to work with bigger resolution like higher res models um, to get the best out of these textures yeah so I'll move the nose down let's move the nose down at the same time So I'm really just moving these guys around. Okay, that's a bit too much. So what I tend to do is I modify these UVs. So I take these UVs here and these UVs here. Then I smooth these guys out. Fold them. There. So I have more have more space to work with. Move these guys down. And I really just match those holes into what I'm doing. And just continue sculpting this in. Alright, so for here, the mouth is quite at an offset. So I have to pull this down. Oh, let's make this bigger. Pull that down. Pull the side down. Pull the other side down. You might want to toggle one so everything works faster. And just toggle three when you're done. Toggle three. So we'll just keep on toggling between one and three. Just keep on toggling. So tucking in the lips and everything's working out well. There you have it. That's our front projection and it's working quite good so let's project this okay so we're gonna be making two maps remember that so let's go to edit mesh um no not edit mesh what am i doing uh window rendering editors hypershade then let's select our lambert graph that network then select the lambert and select your geo then go to edit, um, convert to file texture. Now option box. Let's reset this. I like to select anti-aliasing and I want to bring up my y, X and Y resolution to a 2K texture. You can work with 1K depending on what you want. For this tutorial I'm going to use 2K textures. So let's do Targa and everything seems to be alright everything is just default leave them at their defaults for now then hit convert and close let that load while that's loading I'll clean up my project um, I had several takes so might as well Delete these guys. Alright, so it's done. So what this does is it created a new texture map for us. Good guy Maya, for once. Okay, so now let's apply a new Lambert. So sign a new material, uh, a new Lambert. And in this Lambert, let's apply the texture again. Because now we're going to take the side view. So let's select the face. It was the head. Project that. And again, let's map this to our projection map. So settings and pref. No. Relationship editors, UV linking, texture centric. And let's hook that up to our map too. All right. 
Now this time we will create UVs, planar map this on the X axis. Uh, make sure we have map two selected. Okay, then apply. So now we have a side view projection. Let's just correct this because it's on backwards. Um, flip this and let's scale this down and start matching stuff in. Okay, so for this, I like to match the ear with the ear. Okay, then let's go in and sculpt. Okay, seems to be stretched a lot. And second thought, let's match the eyes. Let's keep that um, good eye to eye. Alright, let's sculpt this guy in. So with our smudge tool, let's just throw these guys here. Really match the ear. Again, I like toggling one when I'm working, just to make things faster. You can always fix this texture in Photoshop but it would be a really good idea to just check it here and if it's working quite well yep that's looking good okay now for the side view make sure everything goes in don't mind the eyes here cause that has been projected in front make sure you get the side view of the nose though that's quite important now for the lips it's not really a big deal anymore because that's all data from the front view but the chin will be quite um, useful data alright and just make sure everything is warping according to plan so this is looking quite good we have the top view looking quite good yeah alright okay. Let's just deselect this. Again, we're only concerned about this area here and this area on the nose and the ear. The ear is matching up quite well. We can fix that in Photoshop. I don't even like texturing the ear this way. Yep, it's not really a good way to texture the ear. Let's unwrap this a bit. So let's smooth the UVs start unwrapping this guy a bit okay then select the UVs again let's just sculpt this and match it to what we're doing hit one and just push these guys in really get that working <coughs> hmm. hit three again to check deselect that is not working at all <laughs> okay that's it undo uh, the unwrap didn't work so this is working a bit better than the unwrap version so, okay so now let's project this so let's select this guy and go into edit mesh no what am I doing okay rendering editors hypershade now it's a new Lambert I'm assuming it's Lambert 3 Graph that network, select your Lambert, select your Geo, then hit edit, um, convert to file texture. Hit that, and let's wait for it. Should come out here. While waiting, we can import this to Photoshop and get started with cleanup. This is taking a while. Let's open this with Photoshop too. Oh, 
All right. Ooh, still loading. Okay. All right. Toggle full screen. Okay. So first off, what I want to do is I want to unlock this and delete the background. Okay, that didn't go well. 30. Delete this. All right, then go in and erase. Let's toggle the eraser tool and just erase. That's all we want, front view. Don't worry about the um the these areas here. Um the side view will take care of that. Lose these guys. And yep. Okay, now import the wait. Yeah, it looks quite weird, guys. Don't worry about that. Um, it's really just a projection working. You can always go in and fix that by comparing it with the 3D um, preview in Maya. But, um, yeah. Okay, this is file 8. I want to open file 10. Okay. Now, what I do here is I unlock it again. Then I delete the unneeded stuff. Then I copy this over to the other side. Then I place it under the front. Now, this is a pickle. I do not know how far deep. Uh oh, is it here? Up a bit. There you go. Matching quite well. Okay. Now the ears are not working at all, but they seem to be working in the preview, so I guess this is good enough. On um, the back view, maybe we might want to fix this. So in order to fix this, we'll use the clone stamp. Okay, clone stamp this area here. I'll sample this area and just go in and really clean this up. And just really go in and fix this. Okay, you can go in and do a better job, but for now, this is all I'm going to do. Yeah, this is working out quite well. Alright. And these are the mouth pouches, so they're not really needed. Oh, I hit some I hit some of the head there. Let's delete this. Alright, let's merge these guys. Merge layers. And that's about it, guys. Wait, here in the middle, we want to sample some of these. Let's sample this area. There. 
right, let's test this one out. So save this. Wait, before you save it, um, it's a wow, what's happening? Cancel. Before we do that, let's just put the background. Um, let's just sample a color here and just apply that to the background. Uh, bring down saturation a bit. Bring up the lightness. Meh, that works, I guess. Save this and target. Let's call this diffuse. Save that. Okay. And let's go back to Maya. Remember, don't worry about this. Um, if you really want to go in and fix that, um, I recommend you do actually, but um, for the sake of this video, I won't be. So yeah. Now there are areas where it's going beyond what we want, like here. So we will need the UVs for that. Apparently it stops here. Okay, I think we can clean that up a bit. Let's open this up then. Where's my where's Photoshop? What's happened in Ooh. Okay. So it seems that um this area here outside is something we don't want. So let's just clone stamp sample that away. Yeah, so this process really takes a lot of time. Um, just you know, do this when your when your patience is quite available, readily available before going in and doing this. Yeah. Let's check if the upper portion is. That's actually quite okay. I don't mind that. It was really just that bottom portion. Alright. And for a shortcut's sake, we can go in and... No, I don't want you. Uh oh. Aha. Uh -huh. Copy this to the other side. Erase. Make sure it's matching. So let's bring down the opacity and match this. Further bring down the opacity. Alright, I think we got a match. And just bring the opacity back up and save this as the Targa for the diffuse. Save that. Replace. And if we open this up with the. Okay. Okay. Alright, so let's go to our material attributes. 
and toggle this. So let's select our texture. Let's go in our source images and diffuse. Let it load. Reload. Why aren't you loading up my texture? I saved the diffuse. What's wrong? Wow, that is weird. Design a new material. Then let's select the file again, see if that works. There you go. And there you have it, a really clean well, not really clean. The ear is terrible. I would go in and fix that. Yeah. Yep. You know what? Let's fix that. It's terrible. Okay. Photoshop. I mean, projection for the ears aren't really... aren't really that good anyway. I'm just brushing this. But you know, you know what? Let's sample here from here. Just make sure you're sampling the right places. <laughs> Alright, do the same thing on the other side. Alright, then save this as the diffuse again. Parga. Save as the diffuse. Save. Replace. Okay. Reload. I said reload. Oh. This takes too long, man. There you go. And yeah. The ear, the ear you might want to texture manually, like really go in and paint in some textures for the ear. But for now, I'll leave that in the dark. Okay, so next we'll be um, applying this to our skin shader. So here's another thing you guys might want to fix. But for now, I'm just showing you guys the technique. Okay, so let's go in and fix our skin shader. Fix it up. So we want to apply this as a diffuse, a color that, you know, we just want to apply some of these color values on top. And again, if we look at our skin shader here, skin maya, the skin shader's diffuse color is white. Now we don't really want to mess that up. So if we go to Photoshop, let's make the most out of this. So let's apply a hue and saturation on top. And let's just slowly take away the color. We don't want to take all the color away because we still need the color from the lips. Um, this is a really tedious process. So let's apply um, exposure on top. Let's see what we get. Exposure. Let's bring up the gamma. Let's bring up the exposure. There. Don't worry about the overexposure. All we really need is the 
color and to take care of that yellowish feel just bring down the saturation and slowly it becomes a bit more white then there now see what we got here we got all the color we need well not really all the color but at least we got a bit we can always mask out our exposure so I'll hit the eraser tool and just mask out this area here with B, D, D. Oops. There you go. Okay, what is it doing? Then the hue and saturation you might want to. There, just mask these guys out because you need the lips. This is painting um, a black. I'm just painting black over these masks and really getting that really getting these guys to show up to be quite visible let's just go to the hue and saturation and really bring these guys up there So yeah, even the beard areas, you might want to mask these guys out, and the hair. Don't worry about how dirty you can get. Well, worry about it, but for me, it's just for the video again, so not much. There, so I bring back the color I I need for these areas, and let's try this out. So save this as your diffuse targa again. Save and replace that. What was that question? Oh dear, I wanted a targa. Save that out. Place. Wait for this option box. Okay. Go back into your Maya. I reassign the skin shader. And in your diffuse color, let us import V file. I said diffuse. No. No. I said diffuse. There you go. And let's try rendering. Anytime now, Maya. There you go. Bring that angle and hit render. Okay, why did you not do anything? This is terrible. What happened? attributes why is the Lambert still applied oh my god sign existing material let's delete history and delete all the way type history material attributes why is the Lambert still there God, okay, let's do the Lambert from the Hypershade. So let's take all our Lamberts and delete, including the first one. Delete, let's just assign the skin shader. Let's break this connection. Let's try applying it to the overall color. I have a feeling it, it's here. And let's apply that to Fuse. I might have been mistaken, might not be in the diffuse. There we go. That's what I was looking for. So that's how you apply your texture over top your uh, skin shader. So pretty straightforward. 
I don't know why the side's not coming out. Why aren't these coming out? Where's the hair? The hair is supposed to be there. I guess it's there. Yeah, it's there. It's just not bumped up. That's why. So we need a bump map next. We're getting too much orange here. So we might want to tone those down. Um, let's let this render first. Okay, first off, we need to tone down these orangey, orangey stuff. Okay, back to Photoshop. Okay, a bit too much yellow here. So let's bring this back by choosing our white brush and just bring that back to I'm using hue and saturation here to bring back those grays. Even here, bring them back to gray on the side. Here, And for our exposure, we do the same. Bring back. We don't want to make that too sharp, though. So yeah, I think this is working out quite well. All right. This we can make sharp. Here. To really get that haircut feel. And on this side, oh dear. Anyways, just clean that out, guys. Okay, now I want a bump map. So let me merge these two together. Uh, these three, actually. What's this? This is nothing. Okay, let me duplicate this. And hide this. Okay, so the bump map is just turning this black and white. Save this as the bump map. Bump map. Save this as a Targa. Bump. TGA. Play that. Hit OK. Now let's bring these guys back and let's save this as the updated diffuse. TGA. Targa. Save that. Hit place. And we're good. Let's go back into Maya. Okay, another way to decrease the orange, orangey feel of these, of these textures. Let's go to the material attributes here in Fast Skin. Okay, we can lower the subdermos um, saturation a bit here, make him a bit whiter. So when we do apply this, it will not turn cheesy. Okay, and we apply the bump here at the bottom. Apply a new file. Then in our bump value, let's just select our bump. Our bump the bump. Let's go back to its inputs. And one is too much. Let's bring this down to point negative point three. And let's see what this looks like. Hit render. There you have it. We have a fairly nice um, color going on here, and the bump is really bringing out the hair. You might want to add a spec map so it will not make the hair shine that much. I would do that. Um, yeah, I would do that. The bump is f still a lot, fairly a lot. Okay. 
here's a tip guys um in the bump you see this bump here is a bit blurred out right because by default Maya blurs out our textures here in the filters so just bring down the filter to zero and the bump is still a bit too high so I'll bring it down to negative one negative point one that should be good enough just to be sure let's do like 0.5 okay then let's go back to our inputs I do not want to blur this either so let's go to effects bring down filter to zero and let's render this as you can see the bump became sharper but now it's still a bit strong it's still too strong wow this is a strong bump dear oh dear let's go back to our inputs where are you bump bump input okay point zero five what was I thinking that's why There you go. That is looking good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's bumping out in reverse again. Oh, no, no, no. It's just right. And, well, that's how we do it. You might want to add more bump here on the on the mustache and his facial hair a bit more on his eyebrows but yep that's about it guys um clean up these textures here and you guys will get quite uh, quite good quality I guess yeah so I hope this helps. Um, if you guys like this, um, leave a comment and tell me what you want to see next. Alright, take care guys. Cheers.